हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू द लर्नर्स नर्सिंग क्लासेस वी वर डूइंग मॉक टेस्ट सो लेट अस डू नेक्स्ट 25 फाइव क्वेश्चन इन द मॉक टेस्ट वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ सायनोटिक कंजनाइटल हार्ट डिजीज एट्रियल सेप्टल डिफेक्ट और वेंट्रिकुलर सेप्टल डिफेक्ट और पल्मनरी स्टिनोसिस और पेटेंट डक्टस आरटी यूसेस सी द क्वेश्चन इज वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ सायनोटिक हार्ट डिजीज देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ हार्ट डिजीजेस ए सायनोटिक एंड सायनोटिक कंजनाइटल हार्ट डिजीजेस सो हेयर वॉट विल बी द आंसर फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन एट्रियल सेप्टल डिफेक्ट और वेंट्रिकुलर सेप्टल डिफेक्ट पल्मनरी स्टिनोसिस और द पेटेंट डक्टर आर्टीरियोसिस सी द आंसर इज पल्मनरी स्टिनोसिस विच हार्मोन स्टिमुलेट्स ऊ साइट मैच्यूरेशन सी जी एन आर एच एल एच एल एच आर एफ और एफ एस एच हेयर द आंसर इज एफ एस एच फॉलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हार्मोन सो सी द क्वेश्चन इज विच हार्मोन स्टिमुलेट्स ऊ साइट मैच्यूरेशन सी द ऑप्शन नाउ आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू द फुल फॉर्म्स वॉट इज जी एन आर एच गोनेडो ट्रॉपिन रिलीजिंग हार्मोन वट इज एल एच ल्यूटिनाइजिंग हार्मोन वट इज एल एच आर एफ ल्यूटिनाइजिंग हार्मोन रिलीजिंग हार्मोन सी दिस इज एच दिस इज एच एंड एफ एस एच इज फॉलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हार्मोन हेयर द आंसर इज फॉलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हार्मोन ना ऑव्यूलेशन अकर्स फोर्टीन डेज बिफोर द नेक्स्ट मैंस्टुरेशन वन वीक आफ्टर द मैंस्टुरेशन वन वीक बिफोर द मैंस्टुरेशन और ट्वेंटी एट डेज आफ्टर द मैंस्टुरेशन सो ऑव्यूलेशन ऑलवेज अकर्स फोर्टीन डेज प्रायर टू द नेक्स्ट मैंस्टुरेशन फोर्टीन डेज बिफोर द नेक्स्ट मैंस्टुरेशन सो जब पीरियड्स आने वाले होते हैं उससे चौदह दिन पहले ऑव्यूलेशन होता है द हार्मोन नेसेसरी टू आइडेंटिफाई पॉजिटिव प्रेगनेंसी टेस्ट इज प्रोजेस्टिरॉन हार्मोन एस्ट्रोजन एच सी जी और द ग्रोथ हार्मोन सी हेयर द आंसर इज एच सी जी ह्यूमन कोरियोनिक गोनोडो ट्रॉपिन हार्मोन इन अ प्रेगनेंट वुमेन चेंज इन द कलर ऑफ द जेनेटीलिया इज कॉल्ड एज हीगर साइन गुडेल साइन चैडविक साइन और द विजाइनल साइन सो द आंसर इज चैडविक साइन The height of the uterus at the level of the umbilicus during pregnancy is at 28 weeks, 24 weeks, 18 weeks or 16 weeks. See the question is height of the uterus at the level of the umbilicus. मतलब कि uterus की height इतनी बढ़ गई है कि externally जब आप देखें तो वो umbilicus के level पे आ रही है. तो आप randomly जब आप palpate करते हो तो आपको लगता है कि umbilicus के पास uterus की height आ गई है. तो you can easily make a judgment that the patient or the person or the client is 20. Four weeks of gestation. So answer is twenty-four weeks. The importance of prostaglandins in onset of labor is that it stimulates expulsion of fetus. It stimulates uterine muscle activity. It reduces uterine muscle activity, or it helps in the placental expulsion. See, answer is it stimulates the uterine muscle activity. Immediate nursing action after the rupture of membrane is to listen to the fetal heart sound. call the doctor observe the condition or take a blood pressure see here the answer is listen to the fetal heart sound fhr fetal heart rate check karna hai ya fetal heart sound check karni hai you can put the patient on nst if it is available or you can check the fetal heart rate with the stethoscope or with the doppler like that the earliest sign of placental separation is sudden gush of blood flow of per vagina change in the shape of the uterus increase in the height of the fundus or the shock see what is the earliest sign of placental separation the sign is sudden gush of blood flow per vagina and there will be sudden gush of blood and there will be apparenting apparent lengthening of the cord so these are the signs of placental detachment first stage of labor is up to rupture of membrane three fourth dilatation of cervix full dilatation of cervix crowning of the head here the answer is full dilatation of the cervix postpartum period begins after expulsion of the placenta expulsion of the fetus discharge from the hospital 40 days after delivery here the answer is expulsion of the placenta begins after the expulsion of the placenta postpartum vaginal discharge containing blood mucus and placental tissue is known as lochia show liker 
PPM. See, it is called as lochia. After delivery, the involution process takes place within 24 days, 6 weeks, 6 days, 18 weeks. Involution process ka matlab hota hai, uterus is going back to its normal size and shape. So, it is 6 weeks. Spina bifida occurs due to accumulation of blood in the brain, neural tube defects, myometrium is affected or the defect in the pericranium. Here the answer is the neural tube defect. These neural tube defects are the midline congenital anomalies and spina bifida occurs because of, is due to neural tube defects. If the LMP last menstrual period of a woman is june 20 the expected date of delivery as per neagle's rule is february 2nd march 10 march 27 october 14 so what will be the answer here see uh, as per the neagle's rule i'll tell you what you have to do is J june 20th hai, so you just jump into june 20th of the next year then you have to uh, go reverse three months reverse so june to may one month may to april one month and april to march another one month Ye ho gaye, three months to aap aage march pe. now march may you will be counting date march 20 plus 7 that is the neglis rule so here the answer will be march 27 Morning sickness during early pregnancy is increased HCG hormone, human chorionic gonadotropin hormone or increased acidity, uh, increased progesterone levels or emotional factors. See the, the morning sickness uh, is that uh, because of the hyperemesis or the nauseated feeling. The morning sickness occurs in early pregnancy is due to the increased human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. Bell's palsy is disorder of cranial nerve, cranial nerve uh, 4, cranial nerve 6, cranial nerve 9 and cranial nerve 10. See the Bell's palsy, Bell's palsy is due to the cranial nerve 6. Abnormal accumulation of fluid in pleural space is called as pleural embolism, pleural effusion, Plural infusion or empyema. See abnormal accumulation of fluid because there is some amount of normal fluid also. When the quantity is more than the normal then it is called as abnormal accumulation due to the increased secretion or due to the decreased reabsorption of the fluid in the pleural space. So that is called as pleural effusion. The pigment responsible for skin tanning is carotenin, red blood cells, melanin or sebum see the pigment which gives us the skin color is melanin cretinism occurs as a result of hypothyroidism hyperthyroidism hyperparathyroidism or hypoparathyroidism so what is cretinism cretinism is a congenital iodine deficiency disease and that is as a result of hypothyroidism Increased uric acid level is found in Wilson's disease, rheumatic fever, Parkinson's disease or gout. So gout, mein, whenever we see a patient with gout, we always ask for uric acid levels and because of the excess uric acid levels in the uh, joints or in the areas, the patient will complain of the pain when they, we diagnose the patient with gout. So the answer is gout. The condition in which stones are located in the common bile duct is biliary cirrhosis, cholelithiasis, cholelithiasis, and jaundice. See the condition in which stones are located in the common bile duct. CBD में पत्थर है तो उसको बोलेंगे cholelithiasis. The artery commonly affected during myocardial infection, uh, my myocardial infarction is renal artery. Coronary artery, hepatic artery or the carotid artery. See, myocardial infarction means that myocardium is the muscle of the heart. So, the artery will be of the heart. 
renal artery belongs to kidney hepatic artery belongs to uh, liver and carotid artery belongs to the um, neck and the brain so hepatic artery belongs uh, sorry the coronary artery belongs to the heart so answer is coronary artery in head injury mannitol is given to prevent seizures treat headache decrease in intracranial pressure and in decrease urine output see injection mannitol is a crystalloid and it is given to the patient to decrease the intracranial pressure okay so answer is decrease intracranial pressure shock caused by severe allergic reaction is neurogenic shock anaphylactic shock septic shock or the cardiogenic shock whenever there is any allergic reaction severe allergic reaction means that the uh, body has reacted to the foreign uh, uh, object or the foreign uh, tissue uh, foreign uh, uh, pro, uh, foreign product so uh, body is reacting and then our body immunity is fighting against the foreign body so that is anaphylactic shock the answer is anaphylactic shock thank you so much like subscribe and share